VOD is an extension of our live event. Um, we actually, because of the fast follow VOD that we're actually able to achieve now, we're actually able to, to monetize those customers um, faster on our own um, digital marketplace. And we're able to then time shift those VOD files to make available in, in Europe, in Asia, in Australia, where the time zones are so much different than, say, a US audience at 10 AM is not going to be the same audience that watches that file in, in Europe and in, in APAC. With sports, it's a mandatory thing for us to do. Somebody comes into an alive event. Uh, it's, it's OTT. There's an expectation that they should be able to watch from the beginning. Um, so if, if they come in in the middle of, of an event, we, we are recording as we go and allowing people to go back to the beginning. Uh, and again, as soon as the event is over, we try to get the assets up as quick as possible so that people can watch it on VOD. You could have the biggest event in the world and a week later, it's like it never happened or it happened 50 years ago. A lot of platforms don't support all devices. I mean, like, we're doing an event in London right now, the Race of Champions, and I mean, <laughs> like, you go to like watch it on Android, you must download Hook Player, which to me is like, go watch something else. Making sure that you're available to be watched and everything is huge. And, and being able to turn that around instantaneously is, it's really just about, about the timing.